Hello everybody. Quick addition to what I said about entropy. Um, you also need to know what a TS diagram is for entropy. So we plot TS diagrams. Let me use blue instead. So we plot TS diagrams, right? We plot temperature against entropy. And we sort of get the same dome that we used before. So we end up getting something like this, okay? And we can basically do the same thing that we did before. This is our SF, SG, um, sorry, this is T, this is S, this is T, okay? So we end up getting this, right? It's sort of the same dome that we're used to seeing on a PV diagram. And our constant pressure line basically looks the same, okay? So, so we have something that looks like this, right? However, our constant volume line sort of acts a little bit funny. We get something that looks like this, okay? With a constant volume line. It slants upward before slanting even more when we get outside of the dome, okay? So, this is constant V. constant P. So what we end up getting is sort of the same thing, compressed liquid, mixture inside the dome, superheated vapor, okay? Um, it's good to keep that in mind. And of course, for a compressed liquid, when we're dealing with a compressed liquid, to get our SF, we use, um, or to get our entropy when dealing with a compressed liquid, we're going to use SF at at the T that we're dealing with, right? That's our that's our uh, liquid that we're going to be dealing with. Uh, that's our entropy that we're going to be dealing with, right? Um, it's also important to note. So when we have a a diagram like this, right, and you're looking for your heat, right? They might ask you what is the heat, right? And they might just give you a simple like thing to do. So we know that this can be defined by this, right? And this is sort of the change in entropy. So you can write ds, right? And if I were to, um, or rather, let me say, if I were to take the integral of both sides, right, I'm going to get dx. Or if I were to take the derivative, rather, I'm going to get dx, and that integral sign goes away, right? What I can do is multiply this t to the other side, and I end up getting this. t ds equals q reversible, right? And, and, I mean, that's, you're allowed to do that, right? And basically what we end up getting is that the area under the curve, so let's say I had this, right? This is what gives me my Q. So that's a good thing to know, okay? Um, what else, what else, what else? There are some things, there are some TDS relations that um, I could derive, but I'm not going to derive them. But basically, um, they should give you to the, these to you on a formula sheet, and I'll show you hopefully in some example problems when to use these. But this is basically what you need to know about a phase changing substance for entropy. That's what we get, okay? Thank you.